<clears throat> I need to clean my throat. I want to go out and eat. Because it's hot. Hmm. 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 Alam mo yung exhausted ka every day. Tapos, uh, I feel yung, yung throat ko pa na <clears throat> medyo dry siya. Tapos, namamaos na ako. I, want, I don't like to force myself na to the point na hindi na talaga ako makapagsalita. And then, hindi na ako makapagpaturo next week. So, it's not easy to become a teacher, guys. Um, tsaka I'm having a neck problem nagkaroon ako ng stiff neck until ngayon hindi pa rin siya okay pinamasas ako I, I asked my husband to masas me last night tapos bago sa masasabi ko masas mo na ako pero hindi kasi siya so hindi niya ako mamasas ito yung, ito yung back likod ng ulo ko pag natatouch ko siya trying to masas masakit siya so parang tension ba tapos stress sa pagtuturo ganyan hinago ko palaging hinay ko pagsasalita ko <laughs> grabe uh, akala ko 5 pairs lang meron ako every day anim pala we start kami ng 9.15 until 11.15 yung schedule ko tapos 11.15 to 12 lunch break ko. Tapos, after lunch break, continue naman. 12. Until 3 o'clock. 3 periods continuous. Walang pahinga. Continuous yung turo. Lalo na pag maliliit yung mga estudyante mo. You need to really talk louder. Get their attention. Para mag-start yung klase. Tapos, during the class din, kailangan mo i-control yung mga bata para mapag-start ng klase, saka makinig pa, lalo na yung mga weak students. The more na weak yung mga bata, the more sila yung uh, maingay, walang focus sa studies, sige na kikinig ka na. So, this is not the first time it happened to me. Last year din, first month ko ng pagtuturo, nagpa-check up ko sa doktor kasi talaga I suffered a lot with my truth. <clears throat> so, parang I feel like ayun, magagas kasi yung truth mo sa pagtuturo. <laughs> I want ko, I try to avoid teaching many times. Even though natapos ko teachers ba, I don't like teaching kasi na-experience ko yung pagtuturo sa Pilipinas. It's not easy. Um, I think like that if uh, if you don't have the interest in teaching tapos magtuturo ka mapipilitin ka lang magtuturo ba you will not enjoy it so you will just end in not doing your job very well pero iwan ko dito sa Nepal parang I was like parang lagi akong pinug ginag I don't, uh, you don't like to parang nilalagay doon sa lugar na hindi mo gusto parang ganun ba yep, so I was like okay since my kids are already big si Ima kasi malagi naman na siya she's already grade 2 no, grade 2 nung nag-start ako magturo last year lang kasi ako nag-start magturo ng full time so 2 years na this year 2 years na so I kind of uh nag ako nung sa online kasi nga medyo makontrol pa tapos hindi continuous yung teaching in a day I have like 4 periods lang kaya okay pa ako do that time kaya pa pero this time yung physical class na kasi grabe full time na talaga 6 periods in a day continuous yung teaching so parang tsaka may edad na po tayo 
to kung bago pa kayo sa channel ko, 43 years old na po ako. <laughs> um, so, madali na po tayo mapagod. Lalo na continuous dito. I feel like I'm draining. Parang, ala, yung, alam mo, yung drain yung throat ko, drain yung heart, yung lungs ko, drain yung brain ko. Sa continuous teaching ba, na I feel like, I feel dizzy kapo. Pero I was like overcoming. I sit once in a while. Tapos I stop talking once in a while. Pero kasi yung may class ako so maliliit. Kaya hindi ka, tala hindi ka talaga kailangan mag-stop magsalita. Special English pa naman yung subject ko. I really have to explain with the kids para maintindihan, ma maintindihan nila. Ayoko yung kasi yung sa klase ko na pinagsusulat na yung mga bata. Ayoko yung ako yung nag-rest. Kaya gusto ko yung explain ko talaga yung topic ko kung sa lahat ng mga bata maintindihan, even to the weakest kid pa. Maintindihan nila yung, uh, yung topic, yung lesson ko. Kaya talagang I really have to exert my effort talking more. Pero ngayon, I feel like oh my right now. I feel dizzy talaga pag mag-continuous yung kusang salita ko. Para kung kahit nangyayaga ako, ano ba yun? Uh, I don't like to have self-pity. Pero parang maiyak. Ano ba yan? Self-pity ba yan? <laughs> It's not easy job. Alam niyo yung isang teacher dito. Old teacher, nagka-cancer siya. Truth. Cancer siya because of teaching. She keep on scolding. She's a good teacher, I heard from the previous principal. She's a very good teacher. She was loved by the students. Even though she was loved by the students, she was loved by the students. She was loved by the students. Although, she was loved by the students. So, she needs to speak louder. Because, the students are very angry. They need to be strong to control them. They need to be strong to control them. Kaya I was like, I don't like na mangyari yung point na I have to get sick, cancer, oh my god. She, I heard, I, nakita ko yung photo ng sister na yun. Ewan ko na saan na wala na. She, she's a small girl. Hindi pa, pa naman kinasal. Single siya, nagka-cancer siya. She was like in a chemotherapy sa India. Oof, oh my god. Naalala ko siya this time. Kawawa naman talaga siya. Kawawa talaga yung mga teachers. It's not an easy, easy job, guys. Continuous ka magtuturo. So, sana hindi yun mangyari sa mga ibang teachers. And, you know what? Gusto kong ma-feel ng mga estudyante ko na teaching is not easy. So, you have to be a good student. Kasi, sabi ko, tinanong ko si ko, I challenged my students. Tinanong ko sila. So, who among you guys would like to become a teacher in the future? None of the students even raised their hands. <laughs> One of them would... Ayaw nilang maging teacher. <laughs> Kasi alam nila na it's not easy job. And it's not making a lot of money. You don't receive much money in teaching. You don't receive much money in teaching. Hindi malaki yung sweldo nila dito. Tapos parang walang respeto yung mga parents, yung mga students sa mga teachers. Like, they put everything, yung the blames, yung work sa teachers. Yung mga, kung ba, result ng mga bata. Bakit sila mababa yun, guys? May slow-slow studies, karan ba? It's not easy. So, I feel like as a mother and a teacher, I could really feel and understand mga teachers. So, I don't complain about my kids. I push my kids more to do with their studies. And I even said to my fellow teachers, dahil yung bunso, hindi nga natatapos yung work niya, sabi ko, give her punishment if you don't do her work. Even I myself give punishment to my kids, my students, I mean. I mean, explain to my students that 
have to listen, they have to do not give burden to the teachers kasi later on, baka wala ng teachers na magtuturo <laughs> sa hirap ng work na to ng job na to tapos malit lang pa lang pa naman ang sweldo you need to deal with a lot with the parents tapos mga bata ngayon, mga generation ngayon, ang hirap, i-discipline walang respeto sa mga teachers I don't know if I'm going to continue teaching next year or not. Though I'm enjoying teaching actually with the kids, small kids. I want to change the mind of the students and these young people na they have to think of the, the how difficult teaching is. Yung work ng teacher sa kayo effort ng mga parents nila. Yeah, so anyway guys, thank you for watching and have a good day everyone. And see you to my next vlog. I will not more. We will update you to my next videos. 